so after setting up the twist test um, now we're we need to look for torsional stiffness and to get that we need to know how much uh, the monocoque or, or the entire chassis is rotated by and to accomplish that we actually need to generate a new coordinate system so we can't be in Cartesian anymore we need to in, be in a cylindrical coordinate system so to create a new coordinate system click on coordinate system right click on it insert coordinate systems and we can rename this cylindrical and then under the details uh, under the type we want to change from Cartesian to cylindrical and then its location we want it to be in between the two suspension points so let's select the two suspension points this will put the new coordinate system right in between these two points hit apply as you can see the new suspension points are right here and then just to double check we want to make sure that the z direction goes forward the x direction goes left and right and then the right y direction is the rotation and we will check the deformation in y direction to figure out how much the chassis has rotated by so now we go to solution right click on it and insert uh, we're interested in deformation and directional uh, we want the orientation to be y-axis and we want to change now we need the cylindrical coordinate system and hit solve okay so this should solve fairly quickly so this shows how much uh, the chassis has deformed by uh, let's see so the maximum is 0 0.6659 inches and uh, it's at the tip of the suspension so basically uh, you want to take this value generated from uh, ANSYS the ANSYS will give you this this value the ANSYS gave you is the tangential so you need to use the equation given in the um, pre-exercise uh, pre uh, to, to figure out the torsional stiffness from this value.